Every single day, life throws curveballs at you, and it's how you handle them that determines if you rise above or crumble. It's not enough to want success. It's not enough to dream about greatness. If you're not in control of yourself, you're setting yourself up to be steamrolled by life's challenges. This is where true discipline comes in. The strongest men aren't those who never feel frustration or disappointment. They're the ones who don't let it dictate their actions. When things go wrong, most people lose it. They complain, they blame others, they let their impulses take over. That's weakness, plain and simple. It's surrender. You have to be better than that if you want to get ahead. You have to keep your focus when things get tough. Imagine this, you're facing a setback. Now in that split second, you have two choices. You either react impulsively, throw away your focus, and let it ruin your day. Or you can take control, stay level-headed, and get back to your mission. The difference between these two reactions determines if you keep growing or if you stay stagnant. Most people are controlled by how they feel in the moment. But here's the truth. Winners rise above it. Winners know that a bad day doesn't change the mission, that one frustration doesn't define their path. They've trained themselves to keep moving forward no matter what. That's the mindset you need to build if you're serious about reaching the top. Every time you stop yourself from reacting impulsively, you're building strength. Every time you decide to stay calm, even when you're tested, you're training yourself to be resilient. That's what sets the powerful apart from the powerless. Life doesn't give you respect just because you're angry or frustrated. It respects those who remain composed, who stay focused on what matters. Look, people are watching you. They're looking to see if you can stay steady when things get hard. If you're easily rattled, they'll see you as weak. But if you stay calm and keep going, they'll see your power. They'll see someone who doesn't break under pressure, someone who's here to win. Self-mastery earns respect from others and from yourself. This isn't just about keeping cool in the moment. It's about setting yourself up to dominate long-term. When you stay composed, you think clearly. You make smarter moves. You're not wasting energy on things that don't matter. You're focused on the goal and you're taking action toward it day after day. That's the path to success. That's how you rise above mediocrity. Too many people let every little thing derail them. They let fear stop them. They let anger control them. That's weakness in disguise. Real strength is keeping your head clear, your focus sharp, and your actions intentional. You're here to conquer, not to be held back by temporary feelings. When you take control, you become unstoppable. When life tests you, remember this. A strong mind is unshakable. It doesn't get thrown off by every bump in the road. It stays grounded. It keeps moving. The moment you learn to stay steady, no matter what, you've gained a power most people will never have. You become a man of discipline, of resilience, you become someone who can handle anything. Take full responsibility for what happens to you. It's the day you know you've passed from childhood to adulthood. The day you accept full responsibility. The year was 1980. Was just coming up over the hill when I came up over the crest and there was a terrible car wreck. The man was bleeding, his head was against the steering wheel. I said, do you want me to call the police? And he turned his head. He said, no, call an ambulance. I did not realize that to a person who is bleeding on the side of the road, it doesn't matter who was at fault. If you ended up where you ended up because of somebody else, then you can't fix where you are. They have to fix it. Isn't that a lot of power to give to somebody else? We've all had tough moments. We've all felt like life was unfair, that the world was against us, that somehow we've been dealt the worst hand. And for some of us, we've been stuck in that place, feeling sorry for ourselves, wondering why things didn't go our way. But here's the truth. No one else is going to pull you out of that place but you, because as much as others might care, they're not living your life. They don't carry your dreams, your burdens, or your destiny. That's on you. Now, I'm not here to downplay the pain you've been through. Life is tough, and sometimes it hits harder than we think we can bear. But feeling sorry for yourself, 
Staying in that place of self-pity, it's a trap. It keeps you stuck, holding you back from all the strength and potential inside you. Self-pity isn't a solution, it's a roadblock. It takes away your energy, your focus, and your will to move forward. The world isn't going to stop because you're hurting. Life keeps moving, and you have to decide if you're going to keep moving with it. Let's be honest, everyone has struggles. Everyone has been hurt, betrayed, disappointed, and heartbroken. But the ones who make it, the ones who thrive, they don't spend their lives feeling sorry for themselves. They pick themselves up, they learn from the pain, they use it as fuel, and they keep going. If you want to succeed, if you want to live fully, you have to make that same choice. You have to choose to rise above it. Maybe you've been wronged, maybe you've faced setbacks, and maybe life isn't fair. Guess what? Life doesn't owe you anything. But here's the thing, you owe yourself everything. You owe it to yourself to stop blaming, stop complaining, and start building. Start working on what you can control. Stop asking, why me? And start asking, what can I do? The answer is in your hands, in your actions, in your resolve to turn things around. When you stop feeling sorry for yourself, something incredible happens. You take back your power. You stop being a victim and you start being a victor. You stop letting circumstances control you and you start controlling what you can. You don't need everyone to understand. You don't need everyone's sympathy. You just need to believe in yourself enough to keep going. Because in the end, it's your life and no one is going to fight for it as hard as you can. Self-pity will keep you small, it'll keep you resentful, and it'll steal your potential. You're better than that. You're stronger than you know. There's a version of you that doesn't give up, that doesn't stay down, that doesn't let anything stand in the way. That version of you is ready to fight, ready to take on whatever comes your way. And if you want to meet that version of yourself, you've got to stop feeling sorry, stop looking back, and start moving forward. People respect resilience. They respect strength. They respect the person who, no matter what life throws at them, keeps pushing, keeps working, keeps rising. And that respect, that doesn't come from sympathy. It comes from your own courage, your own determination. It comes from you deciding that you're not going to let the hard times define you. You're going to define yourself. Let today be the day you say, enough. Enough with the pity, enough with the blame. Enough with the self-doubt. Today, you take responsibility. Today, you own your life. No matter what's happened, no matter what's hurt you, you have the power to turn it around. You have the power to grow from it, to learn from it, and to become stronger than you were before. Let today be the day you choose to rise. Not because it's easy, not because you have to, but because you can. No one else can live your life. No one else can make the choices you need to make. And if you're going to live a life worth living, you have to take ownership. Own your mistakes, own your flaws, own your journey. Stop asking for someone else to fix it. Stop waiting for a handout. You've got to get up, put one foot in front of the other, and keep going. People may not care about your excuses, but they'll care about your actions. They'll care when they see you rise above. So rise, because the best way to show life that it didn't break you is by building yourself up stronger than ever. Let today be the day you decide. No more pity, only progress.